Hey folks, I have released a new version of Corge and I want to show to share with you all the new changes that I think are interesting. So here's the, the new release of Corge uh, 0.5.1 that is compiled against Kotlin 1.4.3trc that is the latest version of Kotlin. And this version improves uh, improves a bit the the compiling time, which is great, and also fixes uh, a crash we we had with with Kotlin native on MacBooks with Touch Bar. And also, uh, finally, finally, <laughs> we have been able to to publish all the artifacts to J Center, finally because uh, most of the artifacts were already in the center but Corge uh, itself the the core of it uh, was was not able to to be in the center because uh, th there was a conflict with, with the gradle plugin but now uh, the all the artifacts are on the center and the Corge plugin uh, is using the artifacts from the center uh, with all the, the benefits from from security mostly because the artifacts there are immutable and that's great okay so we have also fixed uh, a few things but uh, I want to show you uh, a new feature I have included uh, suggested by, by Pablo uh, to, in to use uh, units from from real life dimensions and related to the viewport itself uh, that I think is a great addition to, to Corge. So let me show you how does it like. Normally uh, in Corge when you scale a window uh, you have a virtual, a virtual size here and when you resize it, uh, the virtual size, the, 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 the initial viewport is here and there is an actual uh, width here and an eighth here. And, and well, but in the end, the, the things are not positioned on the, on the screen when the, the aspect ratio doesn't match the uh, this viewport you can you can use the doc doc two and you can use the, the component doc doc two to specify an anchor point and, and scale mode so for example I can position this on the top right of the screen despite the the anchor point of of the application itself uh, but I also have to specify the anchor because this sets the this only moves the, the X and Y point of like you can see now it's docked. This point let me show you maybe I can show you here. I won't be able to, yeah, this is the, the, the point of the, of the, the zero, zero of the, let me rotate this a bit. The, the origin of, of this view is, is anchored to, to the top right of the screen whenever I resize the, the window. So, yeah, w we, we could, um, we can position elements on the screen like that but now I have include a new length property for the views this one for the view lengths and it's invo invocable so we can call this this length and here we can start using uh, dimensions we can place numbers with with centimeters, millimeters, here we, we can use um, 
dimensions based on the the points per per inch of the device the, so uh, they will be the same for for a, for a screen for a desktop screen or a, or a mobile device as long as we can determine the the pixels per inch of the of the device so we can use millimeters centimeters inches and points and we can also use uh, percentages of the viewport width and the viewport height and the the v min uh, v max this this these units come from css we can use them on html and they are intended to work the same here so let me show you this red rectangle from here that is centered and here we are uh, determining its position uh, based on the viewport width and viewport height so 50 means half of the of the viewport width and viewport height so the x and y will be the center of the viewport width and height independently on the size of the window as you can see the position here is changing as well as the width based on the the, the, the viewport uh, dimensions and for the eight I'm using centimeters so this is going to be constant despite of the scaling of, of of the dimensions of the the window or the dimensions of the device and this is pretty cool but we can also as you can see here we can provide uh, complex expressions that are using uh, mixed uh, values Th this works like the css calc so here we are setting the the position to one centimeter from the top left of the screen and then we are setting the 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 width and the height based on the viewport width so this is a hundred percent of the viewport width and we are subtracting it two centimeters that this is the this is the margin the margin the horizontal margin and vertical margin so here here we are um, specifying the, the margin of this rectangle uh, in centimeters so this is going to be the same centimeters in, in a mobile device than here in the computer and here i'm using the max function that is defined here it's not yet available on, on corge but we can use it already by providing our own functions and this function is clamping this value to not being less than uh, half a centimeter so for example if you check the eight you can see this is decreasing but but keeping the the margin on the top and the, and the bottom but at some point which is half a centimeter this stops there if i don't if i don't provide this max function here uh, this won't be this can be even zero or even a uh, negative value So this is the max function. In the end, this is computed on every frame uh, lazily. Well, uh, th before rendering, this is being computed, and this is calculate uh, its its time. So if the viewport changes or or the points per inch changes changes because you have moved uh, your window to, to another screen this value is recomputed 
and this is this is not a, a single value but this is an, a, an object a length object that that in the end this is a, a expression tree it's a tree of expressions that are computed in the end by this this function so even if we are not providing something like this this is somehow computed every time and well with with this length here we have the some properties that we have defined here the width the x the x uh, and the y and here we have also access to the view as you can see the x normally is a double is a double but i want to I cannot precise this but here as you can see this is expecting a length object so this is why this length is 4 because if I don't provide this and I just make a normal apply I don't have access to these to these units so we are not we are not changing we are not polluting the global scope with with these centimeters but we have to use the the length property here and call it and yeah i think that's it i think this version is remarkable somehow because of this addition and because finally we are in the center and we are we have fixed the issue with with the MacBooks with Touch Bar. So I think that's it for now. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.